I don't know. Anyway, I thought I would do a full day of eating for you guys and get some training as well. Um, I'm also going to be uploading some training from Friday. Uh, I've not been very good at doing my weekend vlogs. I've just been super busy and slammed with things going on in life and I just haven't had a chance to. I know I look really cute right now, but um, I, and I'm sorry for the noise in the background. I'm washing clothes and I'm about to start eating. So, uh, I'm going to do a little life update and prep update as well. So, let's just get started with this full day of eating and just kind of see where this video takes us. So, here we go. Alright guys, so I just finished this off. Um, this is just a liquid multivitamin that I had been trying. Um, I've had several other liquid multivitamins and I like to get the ones that have the extra additives in them. So this is the one I literally just finished. Um, I have another one that I will be trying starting tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll say this one is pretty good. So I would highly recommend. Um, the orange mango flavor was a little much, but it wasn't terrible. So yeah, if you need a good multivitamin, highly suggest trying this one. All right, so this is my process every morning. I have my multivitamin, and then I have my reds and greens. So, I've also added in, since I'm in prep, uh, Core Hard Extreme by Core Nutraceuticals. This is actually a really good product, and Core Nutraceuticals, I tried a while back, and, you know, at the time, I wasn't super impressed with anything that they had, but that was like uh, two years ago. They've come out with some great products since then. This is a great product. They also have an ISO um, protein powder that's awesome. So, uh, my reds and greens, I use uh, uh, First Form um, Opti Greens, Opti Reds. So, I'll be putting all this in a shaker cup, shaking it and drinking it. So, one scoop of the Core Heart and then two of the Opti Reds and Opti Greens. All right, so I'm just gonna drink this, and then I'm gonna make my coffee. And again, this is my process. I make my coffee, and then I put in my sponsors, Jow Nutrition. I put in their collagen. Um, Jow also has reds and greens uh, that I like. They have a Beat Complete product that has multiple different kinds of reds in it, and one called Deep Greens. Um, I just don't have it, um, so I'm out of it. And um, they aren't one of these companies that I have to just only use their products. So um, I'm happy to use the form, first form reds and greens, but they have amazing collagen. Um, they come out with a collagen BCAA, and I think like a keto one, um, but the regular bowl collagen, the plain one, is the one that I like the best. So that's the one that I recommend. And I do have a code for Jow Nutrition. They have tons of products. Check that out. The uh, link and my code will be in the description box below. So let's drink this. Uh, I got this washer and dryer off the of Facebook Marketplace um, just because I wanted a front load and a top load washer and dryer. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. So more than likely, at some point this month, I'm going to be going and buying dryer won't dry all the way. It's huge. And you can only put like this much clothes in it and it takes like two hours to dry. I'm done. And the problem is with the dryer, it gets super hot. There's nothing wrong with it. I have people come out and look at it. It just won't dry. I have my coffee right here, which just has a little bit of cashew milk in it, a scoop of collagen, and some butter toffee, um, skinny girl syrup. And then I have four ounces of ground beef here, and I also have some sugar-free syrup on top of it. Um, don't judge me, I just like that for breakfast. Anyway, um, plus I also, um, for those of you that know, found out I'm allergic to eggs, so I have to have some other form of protein for breakfast than eggs. 
All right, guys, here is meal number one. I have a fourth a cup of cream of rice. Um, it has some cinnamon in it with a little bit of vanilla liquid stevia, and I have just a little bit of um, sugar-free syrup. So that's going to be meal number one. So I totally forgot to video this before I mixed it all up. But what we have here is, um, this is 200 grams of triple zero vanilla fat-free Greek yogurt, a fourth a cup of oats, uh, 12 almonds and some cinnamon and a little bit of liquid vanilla stevia. And this is going to be meal number two. All right guys, so I didn't video this, but I have my pre, my post, and my intra workout. So pre-workout is a little bit of extend energy BCAAs, a half a scoop of EAAs, and um, one scoop of Tennessee pre, one scoop of full as F by 5% uh, nutrition. My, in my intra workout is one and a half um, because I put a half a thing of Extend BCAAs in here. I have one and a half of Extend Energy BCAAs in here. The other half of the scoop of EAAs. Um, one scoop of Cluster Bomb by Redcon 1, which is a intracarbolin. And yeah, that's it in that. So post-workout, I have one scoop of level one by first form and a banana just all mixed together and that is post-workout so i didn't video these separately because to be honest with you i just forgot so anyway that's that all right guys so i am headed to the gym i'm hitting back and shoulders today elbow has been feeling much better finally so yeah, inflammation in it has finally gone down, but I'm still being super conscious of it and trying to make sure that I take care of it the best way that I can. Um, anyway, doing a little update in my car just because it's the easiest place for me to do that while putting on makeup. This is multitasking at its finest right here. <laughs> this kind of like cleaning up my nutrition all that kind of stuff two weeks ago and I was 141 and a half or, or about and um, I did a check-in on Saturday and I was 135 so let me get the thunder real quick I just feel better being put together when again was just clean things up in my nutrition I was in off season so I was allowing my stuff here and there that I wanted mm -mm -mm -mm. so what I ended up doing was I think I've mentioned this before I cut out my little treats that I was having here and there so um protein pancake meal that I would have at night. This is when I would have my treats. I would have two Oreos and then I would have like some chocolate morsels on top and a little bit of Reese's. Literally like I would just do that. It wasn't like I was like taking fistfuls of stuff. And I had been doing five days a week, 20 minutes of cardio at a 5% incline. All I did was increase that incline to 8%. Uh, I kept my walking at 2.0 miles per hour and that's it so just by cleaning up my nutrition I dropped now I am still having cheat meals right now but at 10 weeks out I will be cutting that out um, unless we decide that I need to have one um, by we I am back with my old coach who is also my boyfriend so we worked together from like 2012 to uh, 20 
2017. And then I didn't work with him in 20... I kind of did my own, own in 2018. Didn't work with him in 2019 or 2020. And uh, working with him again now in 2021. Um, we do a very good job at like talking together about what's going on um, and he knows that I have my input and takes that into consideration and then we just kind of go from there and it just seems to work so anyway um, I did my check-in which I'll post on here I was down to 135 I did cheat this weekend so I had some ice cream and I had some more protein bites and then I made myself like a little healthy I would call healthy style taco bowl so I just used some crushed up uh, hard shell tortillas um, so I probably had about one and a half of those some lean beef 93 lean ground beef um, some cheese on top and some salsa in there and that's what I had. Um, yesterday, there was a lot going on. Um, usually on Sundays, I have full rest days. And I did not have a full rest day yesterday. I was helping him move. And I had taken my food with me and eaten it. But last night, um, he ended up having two sushi rolls. So, I only had... So, I had three bites of those. Three bites. I had three rolls out of the big sushi roll that he had and I had some more protein bites so um, I wanted to weigh this morning just to kind of see where I was at and I was up two pounds so it was about 137 this morning which it's just water it's gonna go down it'll go away so I won't check in again or weigh again until next Saturday and we're just gonna see and go from there. Um, I am thinking about upping the intensity of my cardio this week. Um, so it's officially 12 weeks out on Friday. Um, so, and by intensity, I don't mean that much. I, I'm thinking about taking the incline from 8% to like 12%, maybe just 10%. on my meal plan, um, back on, like, my training, my training has stayed the same, nothing has changed yet, and yet, I had been throughout this whole off-season training five days a week, and about, uh, eight weeks ago to try and help my elbow, I went to four days a week of training, um, and I've just stuck with four days a week because it just seems to be working. Like, I'm killing my workouts, I've been super sore from everything, and it's been giving my body a long enough time to recover. So, um, I had, you know, we had debated on me going back to four days a week of training. I mean, not four days, five days a week of training. But, you know, the whole thing is, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> so... Right now, I'm just going to stick with four days a week and just keep killing my workouts. Um, yeah. So, 10 weeks out is really when we thought we would, like, up the intensity of things. But if I keep making progress the way that I am, um, we see no need in kind of changing things. All I need is about 10 pounds off. And I'm 12 weeks out which is completely doable. That's like a pound a week. And with me just kind of cleaning things up, I've lost more than that in a week. So the first little bit of that is water. Um, you know, the real fat loss. I, I don't know when it kicks in, but the first week you're not losing fat. You're just losing water. Second week, you may start tapping into those fat stores. By the third week, which is where I'm at right now, we should really be able to tell what's going on, especially since I had kind of like two off days, which I'm not super proud about. 
not that yesterday was bad because I had taken all my food with me and pretty much eaten low carb until I had like the three rolls of sushi and again not three rolls in themselves three pieces I should say pieces three pieces of sushi and the extra protein bites so you know I'll just keep a, an eye on things and kind of go from there because here's the thing that I'm nervous about I kind of did something like that last year and after I did that, my weight would not budge. Like, it went, it was down, and then it went back up, and it didn't move from there. So, anyway. Um, let me call you, let me talk to you guys in just a second. I'm getting a phone call, and I have to take it. Okay, guys, sorry about that interruption. I have been trying to cancel my membership at workout anytime just because... I had only gotten that membership because I was over in Hendersonville a lot, and I'm not really over in that area anymore. I haven't used that gym in like a couple of months now, so anyway, that was them just calling me back saying that it was canceled, so good deal. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so, you know, I did a cheat similar to that last year i was super lean though but i was like in the middle of prep and my weight would just not go back down afterwards my weight was like no not doing it not doing it so but i am in a different place this year like i've put on some good quality muscle this year i've worked hard in this off season so anyway i know that Every prep is different and, you know, I'm really just kind of taking things easy and laid back. I'm not super, I'm not like trying to stress over anything. You know, I'm just kind of letting things fall where they fall and, you know, I know I'm putting in work and, you know, I'm just trying to be the best that I can be and that's all that I can do and all that I can control. So, that's that. Anyway, guys, wow. Anyway, guys, I am pulling up at the gym um i'm gonna drink this pre-workout and hit this training session and i'll get video for you guys i'm also going to post a video of my leg session that i did on saturday so you guys can see it was a great leg session so yeah anyway um i will check back in with you guys later <laughs>
guys, so my client um, cooks my food for me and then I portion it out. So I have it all right here. She dropped it off a little bit earlier. So I am about to no prep um, and get everything all portioned out and ready to go for the week. So that is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put it on a time lapse um, so you guys can see. Um, but I have turkey, beef, and chicken here, and some spice. Oh, my video keeps doing this. I have turkey, ground turkey, 93, 93 beef, chicken breast, and some spicy rice cauliflower that has jalapenos and hot sauce in it. Um, so yeah, I'm about to portion everything out for the week. And be on my way. So I will show you everything after I get done, but I'm gonna put it on a time lapse. So here we go. All right guys, next meal going down is half a cup of rice, four ounces of chicken. And on top, I have a little bit of Skinny Girl sugar-free honey Dijon dressing. That is meal number four. Guys, here is meal number five. I know it doesn't look appetizing, but it's actually really good. That's four ounces of 93 gram beef, some spicy um, rice cauliflower. So it's got jalapenos in it and hot sauce and then on top i just have a little ketchup because ketchup is life uh so this was meal five i forgot to do my job and video it so this is the aftermath what it was was a protein pancake i made it with a fourth a cup of cashew milk one scoop of protein powder, one tablespoon of pancake mix. Um, I used the all natural whole grain pancake mix from uh, Whole Foods, so the 365 brand. And I put a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder in there and it cooks up just like a pancake. Then I also had two slices of turkey bacon and some sugar free syrup. So that's what was right here. So there you go. That's meal number six.